high performance workloads are becoming just something of our life now, right? Here illustrated is big data and some of the requirements there related to big data, but you can imagine databases and specialized applications. And so understanding what is inside the server and how it will, will help me perform, get my server to perform the way it needs to satisfy business need is critical. And today we're really talking about NVDIM. Now, NVDIM, as you see here on the screen, is really a combination of the best of two worlds, DRAM and NAND. So you put those together, of course, you get the volatile uh, state, but high, high performance of DRAM and the non-volatile state of NAND. Uh, and again, high performance as well there. Push those both together, but of course, NAND is non-volatile. So let's go over the two, two key points here, um, focus on that. One is DRAM provides that low latency and performance that you need, and NAND is there in the event there's a power loss, DRAM can flush its data over to NAND, and a battery backup um, has to be on the server, obviously, in order for that flush to occur in the event of power loss. So let's talk a little bit more about that. So when you're looking for a server that's offering persistent memory or NVDIM technology, you want to make sure of a couple things. One, you want to make sure that you want to take advantage of the technology. I want all of my writes and reads, as many as humanly possible, to go to DRAM. I want that to be my workhorse. And then I want to be able to use NAND just to provide that safety net in the event of power loss. Now, dependent upon your workload and the size of the data, you're going to be using both of those uh, together. But you want to make sure that you push all that you can, the reads and writes and performance stuff, over to DRAM because you're going to get the best performance. And then just have that NAND available in the event of power loss. It can flush out what's on DRAM, pop it over to NAND, and then as the server boots again, it asks you, recognizes that the NAND um, is there and that data had been flushed from DRAM and it repopulates and everything uh, is back to normal. This is a, a important note about NVDIM. Some manufacturers of NVDIM will do most of its writing to NAND and just use DRAM a little bit. That's, that's kind of ridiculous. So you want to make sure that you have that battery in place, that everything writes over when you reboot that server, that it boots up properly again and that uh, that DRAM is repopulated by NAND.